guys are here. Are you ready for an awesome, awesome Sunday school? Let's get started.
like anything can happen Can't hardly wait to see what's next I wanna face this world with wonder and excitement Face every challenge every day new memory verse. Are you ready to give it a try? It comes from Joshua 24, 15. So let's get our Bibles ready. Joshua 24, 15 says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You ready to try it again? Open up your Bibles. Joshua 24, 15 says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Good job, guys. We'll see you next week. Hi kids! Today Sunday School is a little sad, but it has a good ending. The story of Job, it looks like the word job, J-O-B, but it's in the Bible. There's a whole book on Job. The Bible says that Job was a blameless and upright man who feared God. And that's what we want to be, right? We want to be blameless and upright just a really good, good Christian person who loves God. But Job had really sad things happen to him, horrible things. Have you guys have ever had anything sad happen to you? Like maybe a relative passed away or a pet died, or maybe you got really, really sick and you wondered why is this happening? Well, that's what happened to Job. His faith was put to the test in the story. The Bible says that Job lost everything. He lost all of his sons and daughters. So all of his kids died. His home burned to the ground. His sheep, his donkey, his camels, all his crops gone. And you know what? He was so sad. I want to reassure you kids, it is okay to be sad. Being sad is not a sin. God made our emotions. God made us. God gave us the feeling of sadness. And so after Job lost everything, he was so sad, crying, him and his wife, just crying, crying, crying. But the thing that makes Job so special is he still praised the Lord. He still praised God. He was not angry toward God. He was not blaming God for any of the things that happened to him. When he prayed, he still said, God, I love you. You are holy. You are awesome. You are good. Even though these horrible things had happened to him. He was able to still praise God because Job had great faith. You guys, we will never understand God fully. He is so mysterious. We will never understand his plans all the time. But he doesn't call us to understand. God does not call us to understand. He calls us to trust him. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to trust him. And I want to remind you that praising God doesn't mean you have to be happy. You can praise God and be sad at the same time. Oh, yes, you can. So what are some ways that you can praise God? 
I'm going to show a little video and I want to give you some ideas. So enjoy this little clip. about Job is that he had great faith all the time, all the time. He didn't let the circumstances around him, the things that were happening around him, decide whether or not he was going to tell God how much he loved him and tell God how thankful he was. He had great faith all the time. Let me pray. God, help us to have great faith like Job even when really, really hard things are happening. Help us to trust you. Help us to remember that you don't call us to understand. You call us to trust you. We love you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Let's sing that again. Come on. I'm trading. 